The town of Deerfield is located in beautiful western Massachusetts, where it's hard to find some place that doesn't look like a picture postcard. It's hard to imagine belching smokestacks in a place as beautiful as this. Actually, there is a big factory in the area, but instead of smoke, it gives off the soft glow of candlelight. Yankee candlelight. Welcome to Yankee Candle, which makes votives, pillars, tapers, and jar candles. More than 200 million of them a year. No wonder the factory's big enough to crank out 747s. It takes 4,000 employees to make the products that people love to light for special occasions and relaxation, and especially to get in the mood. After all, nobody plans a romantic dinner by light bulb. Art Ruback is Yankee's VP of Manufacturing. Who, who was the first Yankee? Who started the company? Mike Kittredge started the company back in 1969. Uh, Mike was making a gift for his his mother uh, at Christmas time. Melted down some uh, old crayons and uh, wax. He was making, all he was the, making a gift candle for his mom? Making a gift for his mom, and uh, I, apparently a neighbor came over liked what she saw, offered to buy it from him. So he sold it to her and bought enough materials to make two more candles, and that's, that was the start that's of That's incredible. In the old days, candles were made primarily from beeswax. But during the Industrial Revolution, beeswax was replaced by paraffin, which is a byproduct of refined petroleum. Each day at Yankee Candle, thousands of gallons of paraffin are delivered by tanker trucks into massive holding tanks. At this point, the paraffin looks and smells like clean, clear water. The tanks keep it warm so it won't harden. Then scents and fragrances are added. There are more than 200 Yankee Candle scents. In this tank, we're running honeydew melon. So if you smell that, it, it smells just like a fresh honeydew melon, just like biting into a... Uh, Is it lunchtime yet? Just about. From the tanks, the liquid wax is sprayed in a way that allows it to drizzle down onto a revolving drum. It's forming little beads on the drum, and as that drum spins around, those beads are scraped off the back side. Scraped off on the underside? On the back side. They're accumulated on this side. Oh. Now the beads are vacuumed out of the hopper into a press and drop down into a machine that spins and compresses them into the shape of a votive candle. But they still need a wick. So these candles are coming down and dropping into the wicking machines. And what you can see happening here, the wick's getting oh, inserted oh. into the bottom. That's Oh, I see all those big spools at the back. Big spools of wick feeding through here. We're crimping a wick base onto the bottom of the candle. You can see why they call this machine a racetrack collator. And it's Bay Breeze by a wick. The candles are dipped into a wax that has a higher melting point, giving them a hard outer shell. By taking an ice cream cone and dipping it into chocolate sauce. The candles are cooled in a cold water bath, wrapped, and then labeled. At last, they're ready to be put in boxes. Peggy and Joyce looked like they were having some giggles, so I asked if I could join them. Okay, so who's who's my uh, coach here? Go right ahead. So, go ahead one. and do what? Take three, oh, whatever three. you can, throw in the box. Okay. Okay. The bottom label. Oh, yeah. sure, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. checking all over yes, that. Yeah, Joyce. Okay, that's, yeah. that's pretty good there. I like that, isn't it? Is that pretty much the way you do it? Okay, yeah. Yeah. It's time for our break. Okay, okay. okay. We'll see you again. Yeah. Oh, jeez. John, you're falling behind a little faster, please. Okay. <laughs> I didn't hit the gym this morning, so I figured I'd join some of the Yankee Candle employees on their exercise break. Okay, we're going to feel out going back. And deep breath in, exhale out. Which part was a hamstring again? Many of the candles are sent around the world. Most end up here at either a Yankee candle store or at a specialty store. Yankee's flagship store is just up the road from the factory. Actually, it's more like a theme park. Two and a half million visitors stop by every year for some candlelight entertainment. 
They even have a candle making museum with live demonstrations of how early 19th century chandlers did their work. Okay, good wife. <laughs> what are we doing here? We're making beeswax candles here, and we have a kettle full of nice hot wax ready to go. This is called a dipping wheel, and this is the mass production version of candle making. And you start with the wick hanging from the little hooks, and we're just going to dip it in only up to the top. So that, so that was all just string, just wicks when just you started, Just wicks right? when we started, that's right. And so you dip it in once. Michelle said that you need patience, not talent, to dip candles. Well, I've got a lot of patience. It takes about 90 minutes to finish 240 candles. Of course, the bees who made the wax took a lot longer than that. In fact, it takes 20,000 bees to make enough wax for a single candle. No wonder they cost so much back then. In the old days, you and I probably wouldn't have been able to afford these. You'd have to be royalty or nobility. Or, or a good wealthy thief. Wealthy merchants. Or Maybe. Right, they were highwaymen. Hand over those there candles. <laughs> there you go. All right. That would work. These candles may have been expensive, but they didn't have something back then that today's Yankee candles do. Fragrant scents. This is Bob Nelson. Oh, Bob Nelson. He heads a team of people who come up with the fragrances and the names of Yankee candles. Now that's a job. Pizza? Pizza and beer scents? We scent. used to have a... We used to have an oregano fragrance, which actually wasn't that far off from pizza. We have blueberry muffin, apple pie, chocolate chip cookie. Well, it looks like they thought of everything. Mike Kittridge was 17 when he showed his Yankee ingenuity by starting Yankee Candle, which, come to think of it, may be how the company got its name. But don't you wonder what his mom said when he told her he'd sold her Christmas present? Ah, uh, she probably didn't mind. <laughs> 